All right, Ryder. So we checked over that made sure our draft has punctuation at the end of every sentence. And we've um, had some variety, not only just periods, but some exclamation points when we're really excited or even question marks when we're asking our readers a question. So now we need to again, reread our writing um, to look over our word choice. And why we do that, why word choice is so important, because it's less boring for the readers and it's more engaging. Um, and putting, like upgrading your word choice, putting in those juicy words, not like good or happy or sad. Those are like boring words. We want to spice it up. So some tools to use is you can always go on um, this, thesaurus.com and you can type in like good and then it gives you a big long list of um, similar words but kind of better words that you can use instead of that. So that's kind of what I did too but I'll send another um, little anchor chart with uh, some more really good words too that you can use. But I reread my whole story, and of course, this isn't all of my pictures, but I wanted to show you the ones where I found the most I needed to change, and it was mainly my intro and my conclusion. So it's in green. So I, I started off saying, did you know that sea turtles have been around for about 200 million years? I'm like, been around? That kind of sounds like, you know, not so good. So I thought about, well, been around is kind of similar to the word existed and existed sounds like really smart and so i wanted to change that to existed did you know that sea turtles have existed for about 200 million years that makes it seem more of like a big deal to me i think than just saying they've been around so i'm changing that to existed and then also i came down here and i said cool reptiles cool is one of those like words so i wanted to spice it up and I changed it to fascinating reptiles. These fascinating reptiles have several interesting features. So that was just a sum of them. Um, I want to bring you, bring attention to here though, because as I'm rereading it, I didn't on this one. I didn't notice that I had to change a word, but I knew I had to a, like put a new word in for it to make sense. Because before I had other threats of sea turtles include caught in fishing nets, struck by a ship, or getting injured. Well, I was reading it aloud and in my head, and I was like, that doesn't sound right. So I think I needed to add one more word there to make it flow better. Other threats of sea turtles include being caught in fishing nets, struck by a ship, or getting injured. So that being just really helped my sentence flow better. And then here was my um, conclusion again. And just like little, little errors that I fixed, um, I wanted to keep it the exact same as my intro before I had um, their hatching process and in my intro I said the hatching process so I went ahead and changed it to the because I want to be the exact same and then I saw that I used fascinating in the conclusion but I changed it and used it in the intro and I'm like well I want to use a different word so this is where I had to go on that the thesaurus.com um, and I typed in fascinating and I find I found bunch of words, but I went with intriguing. So are just some of the intriguing things about them. I thought that was a really good word to end in our conclusion. And then down here, I hope this is what I had. I hope you make the right decision to save these wonderful reptiles. Um, so then I, I again, did typed in the thesaurus and I found that right, I could change it to wise. I hope you make the wise decision. Again, I feel like that sounds more intelligent and meaningful to save these remarkable reptiles. And I really like how they both start with the letter R. It kind of it um, sounds better. So yes, uh, your word choice make it less boring and more engaging. So reread your draft again and. Um, Think of some words that you can either change or you might need to add in to make it flow better.